Welcome back to 9mm Ridge. This is the Glock 43X with the MOS cutout on top. Very, very hard to find. I found one, so I was very excited to buy it and bring it out so you guys can check it out and see how well um, it performs. Um, I know there's a lot of Glock haters out there, so go ahead and smash that comment section because I know you're going to enjoy that. For all the Glock lovers, this is going to be fun, so stick around and we're going to have a lot of fun with this Glock today. Now this is the competitor to the original SIG P365. Um, they introduced the 365 XL and Glock introduced the uh, Glock 48, which is the same size. But this guy right here is actually very similar in size to the SIG P365X. Now they both have a full grip, which is really nice. You can get a full grip on those. Um, mag capacity is a little different though this one is 10 plus one with the original glock mags this guy right here is 12 plus one and actually it's just a hair shorter than the glock now you can get the shield arms magazines for these and those will hold 15 plus one that is an aftermarket mag um, i was unable, unable to get those i believe they're on gen 2 now of that shield arms magazine but uh we have a few Glock magazines and we're going to test out this Glock 43X and see how well it performs. All right, got it all sighted in. Let's take some shots with it and see if it's still on. Alright guys, thanks for watching 9 Mill Ridge. This is the Glock 43X. Very fun, controllable little micro compact. Uh, I do like it has some serrations on the front, so you can actually get your finger over the front of that and just really hold down that muzzle. Um, that is a great feature. I do like that quite a bit. And then that MOS cutout. I really like red dots nowadays. I used to not like them, but I do like ones that have the cutout in front of that rear uh, sight. So you can retain your iron sights if that fails, which this particular one, the Romeo Zero, seems to fail about every three months. The battery just drains. I think it's just mine specifically. All the other ones don't seem to do that and they do have a new model that's supposed to be even better, but mine does that, so I might have to send it in to SIG to get that replaced or a new one. Uh, this is a great little gun. I really, really had fun shooting it. It feels really good, actually. That grip angle feels good. And then, you know, normal Glock serrations, rear, front there, and then flared magwell. Just just a hair of a flare mag, flared magwell. It's really, really cold out here. I'm stumbling over my words. And um, yeah, I actually really like it. The slide release is in a good position, so I can actually get that slide release. And then, of course, uh, mag release as well feels really good. I can drop it without readjusting my hands that much so um, You can drop it and then just get it right back up and then go right back to it But this is a really fun little gun. I do recommend it. They're notorious for being Awesome. No, I'm just teasing. 
That's for you Glock haters out there. They're notorious for being just good. They're very, very good. Um, Glock's always been good. It looks like a brick, but they shoot awesome and they do last you a long time. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I love you guys. Keep on shooting. Have a great day.